Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Yeah, so good. Uh, good evening. Um, I, I, I've been... I'm getting shocked by so many people that are going to... that are talking about uh, uh, Ed Galungu uh, calling for Ed elections. I don't know what is wrong with, uh, uh, with the statements that Ed Galungu made. But you see, this is the problem. This is the problem with the UPND and the praise singers. They are so dull, I, I, and I want you to get me very clearly on that one. UPND and their praise singers, they are so dumb, dumb like dumb. Ah, I can show what you don't can. The statement that Ed Galungu made was very straightforward, very straightforward, to be understood by everyone. But look how they are going, they are going everywhere and about, you know, uh, trying to you know, to, 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 to impute evilness in Ed Garungu. Hey, he's a snake. Hey, we are going to cut the, the head of that snake. Please, please. Hey, for child, I, I am not surprised. I am not surprised. By UPND. By UPND, I am not surprised. I am not surprised by the way you are interpreting the scripture. I am not surprised. It is very clear. You people, you don't, you, you, I, I don't know if I could say you are not Christians. I don't know if I could say that you are not Christians. But really, Christianity doesn't work well. If you start quoting the Bible, you lose by UPND. You throw them in conversion. You, st you throw them in confusion. When you just bring in the Bible, the issue of the Bible, ah, uh, I don't know what is wrong with this party. I just don't know what is wrong with this party. If you are Kuala Safi, na UPND, tafium fuana, it is like lightning and and water. It is like lightning and water, you know, electricity. Akalumbanga kaap mesh. Fila pena mdala, fila pena. Fila pena. So the mistake that Edgar Lungu made is to quote the Bible. To quote the Bible, that confuses the UPND. It confuses the UPND. We shame a party and we have a shani. Finish mwa subilamo. Finish mwa subilamo. What do you believe in? What do you believe in by UPND? What do you believe in? Tell us. Do you believe in Christianity? Or you have got your own religion? You have got your own religion. Because really, a person that reads the Bible... A person that uh, uh, is a Christian, there is no way is going to misinterpret what Edgar Lungu said. It is very clear. But imwe, pantu mumone kakwatu mwalikuwa tampashwe, mwalikuwa talesa wan omu pepa. You don't like that. And that's why you are misinterpreting, you know, what Edgar Lungu said. Me, I understand you. Zambians, you need to understand by UPND. You need to understand them. I'm telling you, you need to understand them. You need to understand them. These are not scripture people. So that's why they are getting confused. They are saying all sorts of things. Eh? It's like Edgar Lungu challenged them at their core, at their core of their belief. I mean, we, you, can, you can say whatever you want, but look at it. Eh? But even by a baka in the each of them, I feel a monica no communicate who Christian were who walk with tin tidida. Walk with tin tidido Christian were. 
Charlie Shu Parfait. Il n'y a pas de fond de filet, mon équipe de Katouish. Anyway, on ne laisse pas Ewa Ishiba. On ne laisse pas Ewa Ishiba. Me, I don't judge. I don't judge. But the way you do, the way you act, in over your PND, you give some of us serious doubt about your Christianity. You give us serious doubt, and exactly like in this instance, where somebody quotes the Bible, which is very, very clear, very, very clear, and you just go all over the place, accusing him all sorts of things. Hey, he's a snake. Hey, whatever, whatever. Hey, man. Chisha, ni. Mishi mwa di ishiba Bible. Ahu tamwa ishiba. Tamwa ishiba, and you can't blame me. You can't say, no, tayari, aleva tiyo. Ah, ah. Ine, from your interpretation of what Ed Galungu said, clearly, you don't read the Bible. Clearly, the Bible is not your friend. Clearly, you have got something else that you believe in other than the Bible. Because if you believe the Bible, there is no way you would misinterpret that. So that is the first thing. Zambians must understand the UPND. The UPND, uh, you know, are distant, at least from what, from what I see. I'm going to speak for myself. From what I see, I see a very cosmetic a very uh, artificial kind of approach to Christianity. In spite of Zambia being a Christian nation, but the UPND seem to be very, you know, uh, um, distant. They seem to be very distant, if not, if not um, uh, 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 indignant to Christianity, if not indignant to Christianity. That's how the for Bamone Cafe, Bamone Cafe, I want to have a church and cash. Eh? Then when you're changing a man, I'm going to have a quality salary. I'm very, very uncomfortable. Yes, he's a very good actor. He comes up, he sits sometimes, he even sings up for two church songs and whatever, whatever. But really, ah, he's far from that. Eh? He's far from that. And that's why Zambia, Zambia will not be resolved. Like I'm telling you, Zambia will not be resolved economically and a lot of other issues they, we will not under the leadership of Aka in the we will not because you know to succeed we need god any nation to succeed it needs god if a country uh, gravitates away from christianity or from 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 their belief whatever it is even Muslim, Muslim countries, that's why you have some of these countries, it's a Muslim country, because they are putting God at the center. They are putting God at the center. It doesn't matter. For me, I don't have a problem. It's not that, I mean, it just has to be Christianity. I don't have a problem as long as a nation believes in, in a God, because we have only one God, only one God. And as long as you believe in God, whichever way, you worship whichever way you dedicate your life to that god i don't have a problem it could be buddhism it could be muslim and whatever it is okay but zambia majority zambians are christians majority zambians are christians and therefore it is important that even those who are leading even those who are leading they are more aligned to god if you if not we will be having problems like we are having because some of the problems that we have, really, you can't understand to say, how come we are going through this? How come? How come we are buying a bag of mini meal at 340? How come? How come we are buying fuel today at 35 kwacha? How come? Under a leadership that said they are going to reduce Ubung up to 50 kwacha. Under a leadership that they said they are going to reduce fuel at 10 kwacha. How come things are like that? Indeed, this is a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle. We need to pray a lot because these people, these people are UPND. Tawale mune koko wata hawa ntu hawa. Basu vida muli lesa. Bena basu vida muli yaka indi. Ichile. Va UPND. Va UPND. You don't look like people that look up to God. You look like people that worship Haka Inde Ichide. Haka Inde Ichide seems to be a religion to you. It's a religion. And that is why when Ed Galungu says, 
let's have any elections. You just go in disarray. Hey, no, he should be arrested. Hey, we, we are reporting him. What is wrong in calling for an early election? What is wrong? There is nothing wrong in calling for early elections. There is nothing wrong. And I urge you Zambians, start calling for early elections. There is nothing illegal. There is nothing illegal. Let's call for early elections so that we see if indeed Waka in the is as popular. Can you buy one million intact? Eh? But one million intact Waka in the Let's see. Let's go for an early election so that you know we can resolve this and then we can start moving. As long as we have Waka in the and this doubt, you know, this lack of confidence in him, we will not develop. The whole country at the moment is so negative against Haka in the It is so negative. And you can't develop like that as a country. You need to be positive. You need to have confidence in your leaders. The moment you don't have confidence in your leaders, it becomes very difficult for a country to develop. It becomes very difficult for a country to sort out some of its economic challenges. So it is better we go for an early election I know it would cost us money, but let's go for an early election so that we can have a leadership that we have confidence in. Even if we are in the HLM, at least he will be confident because he will be able to say, eh I've got the mandate of people. People have confidence in me. Not as it is, we don't have confidence in Aka in the We don't have it. And you can pretend you are very few. You are very few of praise singers who have confidence in Yaka in the Chilema. Muriwa, no, no. Katushinga Marifkana 500,000. Le lo kwata my elections. Katushaka in the Chakwata 500,000. Le lo kwata my elections. I doubt Yaka in the Chilema can even have 500,000 votes. I doubt Yaka in the Chilema would have 500 votes. The, the, the best he can do is 300,000 votes. Kuti maybe 3,000, 3, uh, 300,000 votes. You know, coming from the strong from the from the strongholds of UNIP of uh, of M, of uh, UPND, but otherwise they So let's go for an early election so that Haka in the Ichirema can have confidence because at the moment Alamboku pitamo na ma banana already na Alamboku booing and you are not believing it. Eh? No, at the few, eh, they sponsored people to, to boo Haka in the HLM. You are the people that sponsored people to come to go to the, to the stadium. You are the people that gave out tickets for people to go to the stadium. And in spite of that, still they booed him. And Haka in the HLM is going to continue facing, is going to continue facing embarrassments. I'm challenging you, continue bringing Haka in the HLM in public. You will see more of those embarrassments will come. And the people, you should not be scared to boo Haka in the HLM. You should not be scared to boo Haka in the HLM because it is part of a protest. Protesting is part of democracy. Protesting is part of democracy. Booing a leader, you don't agree with him, it's part of democracy. It is a democracy. We should not allow Haka in the HLM to take our country into dictatorship. Let us see you know, uh, face Haka in the HLM and tell him to say, Buana, you are a dictator, but Zambia is a democratic state. Therefore, you are a wrong leader for our country. And if he's, if he, in Gamwaume, eh, Gamwaume Haka in the HLM, let's go for our elections. Don't go and start reporting to police that Ed Galungu should come and explain what he meant, that we, we are going to have any elections. There is nothing, there is, what is there to explain? What is there to explain? What is there to explain? What is Ed Galungu going to explain? Yes. At the rate at which we are going, we need an early election. Instead of us focusing on 2026, 2026, we might as well just have an early election and we boot out a, a Haka in the HLM. We boot out Haka, Haka in the HLM. Let Ed Galungu come back. But now Ed Galungu, when he when he's coming back, he should resolve things. Because enough for me, I want you to know that I am not just campaigning for Ed Galungu to come back so that he, I mean we can come and continue with the, the road. No. 
things must change. It is not just a matter of changing, no. It is, a, it is change for the better. Of course, we change, but we change for the worse. So at least let Edgar Lungu come back and we resolve some of these issues. We resolve some of these issues. That there is nothing wrong in calling for an early election. There is nothing wrong. All those people who are going, Kudibaka uh, Pokola saying all sorts of things by UPND, Wutu Tufie, Wutu Tumulifitu Tu, Mulifitu Tufine Fine. You are just dumb. You are very dull. You are very dull. Busy, 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 busy making if my video for a good old Quite a for Muleland, but Mulifi Puba Imwe. Mulifi Puba. All those of you who are calling, who are saying no, Ed Galunga has committed the crime for calling for any elections. Mulifi Puba, you are fools, you are idiots, you are useful idiots. Including those people who went to Kabwata to Tushan at the uh, 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 Ka, Kabwata police station. Mulifi Puba. Mulifi Puba, if you feel. If you Yo, hey, hey, he should come and explain. He wants to topple the government. Where did he want to topple the government? Calling for an election, he is topping the government. Oh, Mulifi Puba. Hello, Mulifi Puba. Hello, Mwali Shinda Olua. Hello, Mwali Shama. Hello, Mwali... Mwali Fula Minwa. Mwali Fula Minwa. Imi Tweshenu, Bali Fumia Mwongo. Mwa Sharafe kwa Tufiko Pota, Bali Fili Mwo. Tapari filimo. Muli fipuwa very dull people. Very, very dull people. Pero mule shini nkishankala mieva. I will be telling you of. I will be telling you of. Muli fipuwa. Muli fipuwa. Hey, you come here. Come and do checks and balances. Idiots. You think I'm a fool like you? You think I'm a fool? You think I will come back there? So that you can arrest me. You can put me in muscles. I will be here talking. I'll be here talking and I'm making sure I, 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 I open as many platforms so that Tamuaka in Shimye. Because Mulefoku in Shimye, that's why he, he, some of you idiots keep saying, come back home, come back home, come back. I come back home for what? I come back home for what? Nineweiso, Ninenkulisha. Change in the way that Kunganda Baba thinks, in the way that Kuzami, what in Nenkulisha. Mulera then, sir. Tayne, I could even have in the chairman to play the name. Inendi kuno. Hey, shut up. Move peref. Move peref. I'm here and I will be talking. Mpaka muka ye. Mpaka muka ye. Ukuya kwena muka ya. Whether you like it or not muka ya. Because you are failures. You are useless people. We have got useless people in government who have failed our country. Why should you stay? We sh you should go. And you should not even go in 2026. You should go earlier. You should go earlier. Na mufidwa. Tapari efo mudi. Tapari efo mudi. You have got nothing to offer to the Zambian people. You have got nothing to offer. All you are offering is failure, failure, failure and intimidation. That's all. That's all you are doing. Enchito mingire fye nomba. It's failure, failure, everyday failure, everyday failure, everyday failure. And ngawala ndawantu you unleash the police on them. But in the fact, not even you are popular, they are with you. They are not. Even you are popular, they are not with you. There will come a time, you will see, let's have an early election. You will see those very people who are working in state house, that state house compound, let's see how many, how many votes you will get. Let's see. That's why you keep moving with the chair. Uh, that you cannot be moving around Nechipuna. You can't. You can't be moving around Nechipuna. You can't be fearing to eat with people. Tatina. If you Eh? Yeah? Atwala pomuti. Ah, we. Zambians are good. Zambians are good. Mukaya fie we know, we know fie. Muzambians, we are not bad people that want to harm our leaders. No. Ni mwe wa mule lete fia vulo kulondolo kefia kufufundungi fi. Tuamba no kula kutuka because you want to harm us. You want to kill us. It's only you PND that knows about killing people. That knows about doing bad things. 
Zambians are innocent. So we never have in the HDM. Just deliver. But you have failed and you never deliver. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.